Sure, thank you. And how about we meet in Inokashira Park? Oh? I never know when this phone's actually working. Anyway. Cool. I think that's good. Not bad, Kasuru Senpai. You're pretty flexible and you catch on fast. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. It's all about harmony between the internal and external oblique muscles. We're just getting started. Go easy on me. I'm so done with this. We're just getting started. I knew it! Well, feisty, are we? I'm glad to hear it. Expert level gymnastics are beautiful, but they've been a lot of stretching. Alright, let's continue. I stretch with Kasumi. Good effort! I think that's enough stretching for now. Good effort, senpai. And I'd like to continue with our training, but I'm actually not doing so great at the moment. I'm not sure I could manage anything too strenuous. Are you doing okay? I'm not sick or anything. Physically, I'm doing fine. I was thinking... <coughs> Do you remember how I said I wanted to talk to you about something? I've been feeling like I'm stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I just can't get better. I went to my coach about it, but she told me to make... To take some time off from gymnastics. According to her, I need to think about who I really am. The idea is not to stop doing gymnastics. She just wants me to take a break. I see. I've never had an issue that practice couldn't solve, but now I have no idea what to do. So, uh, I want you to help me. You know. Even if we're not doing gymnastics, will you still keep hanging out with me? No problem. You sure? Uh, romantically? No problem. Thank you so much. Really? Thank you so much. I've heard my coach praising me. She says Kasumi's greatest weapon has always been her boldness. And honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless, confident. Gymnastics was a fun challenge, but ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump. I got taller for one, and there were some other complications. Like, I can't move how I want anymore. Like, it's not even my own body. I kind of fell into a depression and got pretty bad. But... But when you helped me in Shibuya, something occurred to me. When I saw how fearless you are, how confident you are, I knew you were the right one. If I stick with you, I think I can learn how to be confident again. Leave it to me. Let's give it a try, then follow my lead. <clears throat> Leave it to me. Let's give it a try. And follow my lead. Leave it to me. Yes! Great, thank you. <laughs> You're a strange one, Senpai. I didn't think you'd accept. Well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. I can see Kasumi's appreciation. Boom! <laughs> Rank two. I didn't get any notes though. She's hard to get notes with. Hi baby! Hello. Allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies and right. Oh man. If a shadow attacks you, head on a palace, you're not able to avoid being surrounded by enemies and turn the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Hell yeah. I should get going. I have I'll a meeting with my coach. Now. I need to get going for today, but I'll make sure you don't regret this. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I feel like my stamina right. increased. Max HP by 5. Kasumi rushed off into the distance. I should gather up my belongings and head home. Alright, no mementos today. We'll go tomorrow. <coughs> Kasumi. Thank you very much for joining me today, Kasuru. Are you feeling sore after all that? You place stress on muscles that you don't use very often, so please remember to massage them out before you sleep. But I'm so glad you accepted my request. I was so relieved and I suddenly got really hungry. And then my stomach wouldn't stop growling. Impressive. Gotta push through it. You did eat eventually, right? Yes, an extra large beef bowl with a soft boiled egg. With pork soup and salad on the side. That actually sounds amazing. Or maybe I just hallucinated that. It would have been nice to have a big meal like that. But since you're helping me out with all of it, I figured I should maintain my physical shape. I hope you can catch. Uh, uh, I hope you can help me next time, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again soon. No notes. Fuck. She's a tough cookie, man. Ah, you're back. 
You know how we're going to that TV station tomorrow? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh yeah, that's right. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities. You're absolutely right. And with that much money, they probably got their fingers in all sorts of dirty business. Hmm. The phrasing has quite an immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the weirdest stuff. Anyway, we got to observe a live recording of a show, right? Well, maybe you're going to be on TV. Well, just be in <coughs> well, just be in the crowd, remember? Any TV appearances would be like 2 seconds. Try not to pull any fanciful stunts to garner our attention, okay? Things all going well on your end? I've had some new achievements as your image management representative. I have a report to make. It's good news for you. Do you have plans today? You won't regret anything I have to say. Uh, yeah, I could probably meet up with him. It's Wednesday. I don't have anything to do. Um, and I don't want to... I don't want to work at the beef pole place tonight, so... I don't think I'm going to work at the beef pole place anymore at all. I got that confidant with the guy, so I have no reason to go back there. Um... So yeah, I can go see him tonight. Alright, so I'm talking about... Do you know the high-class buffet in Shibuya? Let's go there. Don't worry about Monday. money. I'll send you a map of wherever it is. Cool. <laughs> Today's my treat. Phantom Thieves are all about fancy, stu fancy stuff like this, right? <coughs> oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go off. Steak sounds good. Organic veggies. I love desserts. Steak, dude. Doesn't it? It means perfect for tough guys like us. By the way, this place is all you can eat, so let's make sure we get our money's worth. Actually. Anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys, and the fandom really ate it up. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point out my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization, and the donations I got after that were pretty generous, to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? That sounds like a scam. Stop this at once. You're amazing. Well, I mean, honestly, there are costs to doing this. And if he's not badgering people for money or making them give us, he just talked about how expensive it was and asked for donations or um, said that donations could be a place, you know. So I, honestly, I think that's completely okay. I think it would be a scam if he was lying to people and I would want him to stop if he was doing something wrong, but if he's just like, look guys, you know, it's a little bit, well no, because he's the one running the site, so he's like a moderator, he's like one of the moderators of the site, so if he's raising money for the site, that makes sense. I'd say that's good. <laughs> Piece of cake for someone as skilled as me, let's take advantage of how much, wait, let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. And it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? Yeah, so long as we don't do it a lot. I've seen the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely acceptable as a business expense, but can the same be said as an expensive buffet? Oh. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use donations here. I mean, people would get mad at a politician for using tax money to pay for personal affairs. It's probably the same it applies to family thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. You're right. That's right. Yeah, we really need to make sure we keep the image of the fandom of these clean in our fans' minds. I think I'll return the money and thank the fandom for their generosity. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as they boost our popularity. And maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. Well, I mean, I'm with him. You know, I'm fine for taking donations because they, it's, you're quote unquote helping the cause, right? You're, you're doing good for the organization. But I could understand how he could just be any mod and he could be running a scam. So it's a good idea to not get people trying to just give money to random mods on the site. Uh, if it's known that he like owns the site, if it's known that he's the owner of the site and he has connections, then that's understandable. But it could still totally be a scam, so. And it's like, hey, you know, I tried to donate to them, but they didn't want money. They just wanted the the uh, vocal support. That's even bigger for the Phantom Thieves. I feel like that's good. So Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are going to blow your socks off. Mishima seems particularly enthusiastic today. Boom, rank four. Let's go. Right. Oh. 
So if we're returning the money, how are we gonna cover our meal? Flat broke. Uh, I guess let's just go home. I mean, I could have covered it, but no big deal. If it would have gave me the option, I would have covered it. Okay, Suru, sorry for dragging you out for no reason again. A strategic image management rep for the Phantom Thieves, I wanted to splurge a little to boost morale, but I guess it ended up being a pretty good for a PR in the end, right? That's what I wanted to view it. You'll get better ideas. Yep. Yeah, right. It was kind of rough avoiding the employees there on the way out, but we gotta stay positive. There's still so much I have to do for you guys. I'll work even harder. I want to be a real asset to the Phantom Thieves. Later. Thanks for your help, man. I appreciate it. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. Huh. Chill, man. <laughs> For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Can this get any more obvious? You're right. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Dude, we're students. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! What does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You wanna be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> Uh, I'm on a school trip. Yeah, a school trip. You're at your full-time job, bro. Stop being weird. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Okay. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Yeah, sure. I know I've been such well, a pain then, in your ass. Uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. Oh, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. Fought valiantly against the long cables. Afternoon. Boom. I'm so pissed off. Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? <laughs> this is bullshit. I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. It sucked for the both of us. Well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Okay. 
Oh, I know a place. I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here. It looked delicious. What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Ah, <laughs> where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. He was listening that long? That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. Suirobashi. All right. Nice. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude, it's not fair. Ugh, using your cat hood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> well then. We made it home. Film at the TV station. I have to stand on too much, that's what you just think. Alright, Thursday, nothing to do, can't go out. They're gonna go upstairs, and we are gonna save it, chat. I'll just add this. Oh, thank you guys so much for coming out to today's stream. I appreciate all of the lurkers, chatters, and everybody else that decides to hang out with me while I play these super awesome, fun games that I would otherwise be playing on my own anyway. You guys are awesome. Thanks for stopping by today. And I... We'll indeed see you tomorrow for Open World Wednesday.